Now turn our attention to the other side of yes. that aisle in this contested race here, uh, Pat Harrigan. That's right, and Jane Monreal has been following uh, all of the um, events underway over with the Harrigan camp, so let's check in with Jane now. All right, the polls have closed. Joining me right now, Pat Harrigan, who is running for the 14th congressional seat uh, in this brand new district. How's the day been going for you? Oh my goodness, it's been a great day. I'll tell you what, there was a ton of energy out there. Uh, our teams all across uh, both counties within the district were working their tails off. I'm incredibly proud of the work that they've done. You've made it to the finish line. Uh, pat yourself on the back for that. Well, I don't know that we can do that just yet, but I'll tell you, we took a, a gerrymandered Democratic district and we made it a highly, highly, highly competitive race. And uh, we laid it all out on the field. Uh, no regrets. I'm, I'm excited to see what the outcome is tonight. All right. And to your con um, p potential constituents, what would you say to them? Look, I truly appreciate everything that you all have done to support us in this race. And uh, I look forward to the opportunity to hopefully get in to serve you up in Washington. If things work out differently, uh, would you consider a career in politics next go know. I don't know about that. I go where I'm called. At the end of the day, Jane, and uh, you know, I, I'm I'm only seeing through the end of tonight right now. Okay. Any uh, last message for you know what you want to see after this election from our federal leaders? I want to see our politicians become leaders. Right now, our politicians are politicians, and are, and we need a lot more leadership up in Washington. You know, politicians are concerned with winning an election. Leaders are concerned with the next generation. We've got a lot of problems that need to be solved in this country, and we are so divided, so divisive uh, at this point in time, as you can see what's happened over the last several days that we've all been talking about. Uh, this, this is not the America that I know and love. It's not the America that I want to hand over to my kids. I look forward to whoever wins this race uh, taking a, a serious approach to healing the divides that are in this country right now and, and, and building a better and brighter America. Coming into this race, you said it was an opportunity for the next generation that you want to see for your kids. Uh, anything changed as far as uh, your priorities being in the economy and inflation? What else have you learned about yourself and about where you want to see um, politics go? I'd say the thing that I've learned is that most people are truly good. Uh, however, there are some folks out there that just, you know, they don't even want to shake my hand. If we can't even shake each other's hands, we're never going to get anywhere in this country. We're not going to solve the problems that we have. We're not going to bridge the divides uh, that we have. And, and, you know, I said this on an interview last night. Somebody had said, well, Pat, you know, did you ever think you'd ever have anything in common with Nancy Pelosi? And I said, absolutely. We're both Americans. We both want the same things, we just want them in, in slightly different ways or slightly different approaches to getting there. Uh, but I think we have so much more in common than we have things that separate us, and I think we really need to focus on the things that we have in common in order to solve the mutual problems we all have. I know you didn't like talking about it so much, the shooting that happened at your parents' home. Uh, have things progressed or been resolved there, or is it still too early in the investigation? It's still too early in the investigation. We still have many more questions than we have answers, but I'm hoping that we have some answers here pretty quickly because uh, you know, regardless of the outcome of this election, I still have a, a lingering security problem that we need to deal with. And we reported that uh, Jeff Jackson you know, also did not condone what happened at your home. Has he talked? Have you guys talked at all? Um, no, we've actually never spoken to each other. And uh, yes, he, he did condone the shot, but he did not condone the tactics that he's used on this campaign, which is disappointing. But uh, I, I hope to get the opportunity to speak with him tonight, regardless of the outcome. I look forward to that conversation. All right. Pat Harrigan, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Jane, thanks so much. It's been great, and uh, thanks for your coverage uh, on, on this over the long haul. All right. Thank you for your time, and Absolutely. we'll see you down the line. Sounds good. <laughs>